To make all of the leg and spine controls available to the animator, the parameters need to be promoted to the top level of the asset. This is an important step that is always needed to give the animator the control they need. This also means that you can keep certain parameters hidden that you don't want animators to work with. So let's go back to the asset menu and we'll go back to edit asset properties for dude animation rig. And this brings up this panel which allows us to go to the parameter tab and continue to build the UI for this character. Now to organize things we're going to bring in some folders. We're going to bring in three folders and we're going to give them the names um, body legs and main. Now we're then going to put two folders inside of legs and that will allow us to have the left leg and the right leg. Now once we have these we can start to put the various uh, items into the right place. So the main translate goes here, there's the main rotate that can go in there as well. Uh, the COG can go in with the body. And the pelvis rotate can go under legs. And we'll put that just above those two folders. And then the right heel will go into this folder. And the left heel will go into this folder. And that will build the, um, the interface for the asset. And we'll take a look at that in a bit. Now. We're going to go back into the network here and we're going to go up to the rig pose knee. Now this is one that we want to be able to bring over. And in this case here, we don't want rotate or scale, so we're going to lock rotate and scale. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bring the translation uh, over. So we're going to bring that over here and we'll go right knee offset. I think that is the left knee asset. And we should move that up to here. Then we're going to bring this one, which is the right knee, into here. And we're going to call that right knee offset. Good. So now we've got those two in. Now we're going to go back to this rig pose foot node. Now all of these we only really want to do rotate Y. So we're going to lock this parameter, lock this parameter, and lock, oh wait, undo. We want to revert those to the defaults first so we have it nice and, and we'll go into here and say <clears throat> lock that parameter and lock that parameter. And then we can take the this, bring that over there. Did that come over? Oh yeah, there we go. And we'll just call this left ball rotate. And we will come down to here and do the same thing, which is lock parameter, lock these two. And this is the toe. So we're gonna bring that over to here and we'll go that left toe, toe, rotate, perfect. Um, and we'll do it for the right leg as well. Just lock that, lock that parameter, lock that parameter, lock that parameter, and lock that parameter. And then once we got that, we can go here and we go so um, rotate and we'll take this one and put that there and I think just to be consistent let's put it up there now you'll probably be interacting with these in the viewport but they need to be here in the parameter pane in order for that to work so we press accept and that will save all of that into into the asset. If we go up one level here, we'll see all of those here and those working there. 
Now, because we press accept, we also stored it in here. Now, sometimes these don't come up right away. We sometimes have to jiggle it like this. And there we go. Now we see all of those various controls um, on the test rig. And um, we can begin to you know, test that out. There, that's working. Um, maybe grab the toe node. Yes, that's working. The ball. Ball from here. There we go. And we can, you know, grab the pelvis. And he can dance like that. Okay. Uh, or we can grab the COG and push that up and down to get that working. So the leg and the, the, the lower part of the body seems to be doing what we want. And that's good. So let's go back into here and let's put a, a nice network box around everything we've done so far with the legs because this is um i like to keep things organized in here so we're going to go in just drop that down drop that down we're going to grab all of that we're going to put a network box around that and we're going to call this leg controls and that'll contain everything we want there so the next thing we want to do is start a new section and we're going to do this by having another delete joint so tab delete joints and we'll bring that over to here we can set the display flag on that and we're going to call this delete joints spine Click on the arrow here, and there's a whole bunch of joints we want to get in this case. We want to get, um, bring this up, actually we can probably just bring this up, and we want to get spine 1, spine 2, spine 3, neck 1, neck 2, and press the control key and jaw. We go over here and press enter, and there we go. So now we've got that. Now this one here, um, that should be back to our test rig. Let's go back to test rig there. Um, go back into fur dude rig. And there we go. So that puts that there. So now that we have that, um, we, we have these here. Now we selected all those. We go delete non-selected. So that just gives us this little group of, of items here. And then what we want to do is we want to add a rig pose node. And we're going to put that right under here. Now, once we have that, we can press the S key and select all of those joints, and they will all get added into here, which is perfect. Now, we're going to um, lock the translate on all of these and the scale, so just like we did before. So. Um, Because we're only going to be using rotates when we put these uh, up, promote the parameters. So it's better from a handle point of view. If you lock these, then you won't even see the scale or the translate handle when you select these joints. And lock parameter. Perfect. Now, once we have these, we're going to want to put uh, another skeleton blend in. And we'll feed the rig pose into one side, and then we'll drag that onto here. And if we go here, we'll see, oh, fun there. We need to be in world space to get that to work, just like we <laughs> always have. Okay, so let's take these three joints here that we have, the small little group here. We'll take those, put a network box around those. Spine controls, perfect. Okay, so asset, edit asset properties uh, for dude animation rig. So what we can do is we, if we want to, we could add separators into some of these, just separate some of those. And now what we want to do is we want to bring in the rotate uh, spine over to the body. And we're going to call that spine one rotate. Um, actually, we probably don't need to rotate on that since they're only rotating. Similarly, we can do that with the other ones and 
find in each of these cases. Just give it the name that we need. Two. And probably put that there and we'll put that up one. Neck one. And then we'll also put in this. We'll call that jaw. And actually, you know what? I think I'm going to add in another group up at the root level here. Let's put this um, up there. I'm going to call this one head. And we're going to put the jaw into the head one. And we'll put the two neck ones um, into there as well. And then we'll take a separator and just separate the COG from the spine. And there, that's looking pretty good. And when we press accept here, all of this will be saved. And again, here we might need to click here and then back to here for all of those things to become available. And now we can grab, you know, for instance, that part of the spine. And now it is a manipulatable part. And remember, this is our locked test asset. Um, <clears throat> and it now functions the way that we want it to with all the sections we have here. Um, great. So now we have. Uh, all of the uh, the legs properly promoted, the parameters in place, and also the spine and the jaw and uh, working as well. So, and there we go.